This is a brief video to demonstrate how to use this 3D printed wire bending jig. Today I'll be bending this music wire, also known as spring tempered wire. The wire I'm using has a diameter of 0 0.047 diameter or it's uh, 1.194 millimeters. I've cut a 4 inch piece of wire off of this spool. And when the spool, this is a spool of wire, so it comes out with a little bit of a bend. So you can see the wire has, already has a curve to it. So the first step is to take on the end. And we want to bend about a 5 millimeter section, no more than 5 millimeters. We're going to bend it 90 degrees away from to the outside of the curve to make this shape. And that's going to be our hook. So then we take our wire bending tool, and in the middle of this, we have a slot. So this, there's a slot, and then there's a hole to hold the wire. So we take the wire, put it in the middle of the hub here in the slot, and slide it to the outside, and then rotate. If this bent section is too long, we won't be able to get it in here to slide it to the outside. So once we've done that, Get a good grip on the handle here, and then we're going to take this wire and we're going to wrap it around the hub section. So I'm going all the way around the hub section, and then I release the wire, if, and then possibly bend it back just a little bit to see how it looks. And then what I'm going to do is rotate it back 90 degrees, and then pull it out to the center, and that gives me this shape. Then I'm going to take the arm piece for my ski. So this goes on here and what we're doing is making a spring to keep this in a 90 degree parallel position. So this leg for the ski connection has a little hole here to retain the wire and it's got a little slot in the middle of the hub. So what we want to do is take this wire and we're going to put it in the middle and we're slide it to the outside so now the wire is in the little retaining hole. Then I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees and it's going to snap into this ring. Okay, so then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to repeat the process. Put it in the middle, slide it into the hole, rotate it 90 degrees, and it snaps in. So now I take my leg and a little bit of compression, get it lined up on my screw. All right, so you can see I've got one in each direction, and now the leg is held in a 90 degree from the ski. So we got a spring, one spring in each direction, and that holds the ski 